सो मेम मूव इज यूज टू मूव द मेमरी फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस और वन पॉइंटर टू अनदर पॉइंटर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट इट डजेंट क्रिएट एनी मेमरी इट जस्ट मूव वन पार्ट ऑफ मेमरी टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द मेमरी and in previous video we have learned mem copy mem cpy that function have some limitations and that limitations are taken care in mem move so basically they both does the same thing but mem copy is little faster because it doesn't take care of one special case whereas this mem move take care of that case so what is that case only that is important in case of mem move that's why this mem move exist otherwise we were so happy with the mem copy itself so let me tell you one thing when there is a overlap what you are copying to where you are copying then in that case mem move does pretty good job whereas mem copy can mess things up why let's take an example so the syntax goes like this we will give from pointer like from where you have to start and then how many bytes you have to copy and to where you have to copy it is very simple just remember that this is number of bytes not the number of array elements or something like that now to get the overlap i am doing this see my from is pointer i mean string 2 which is this i mean starting from here but 2 is like string 2 plus 2 location so which is like t so basically we are going to copy this much data to this place because we are going to copy 5 bytes and single character is using single byte here so let's quickly run this and we will see this so don't look at the previous output this is the actual output of memory move so if you will notice this there is no overlapping issue see n is coming here u is coming here t is coming here s is coming here and this space is coming here and rest is like as it is but if i change it like if i change this mem move to mem cpy then in that case things can go wrong i mean that's the undefined behavior let me compile this and see now n have come here u have come here t have come here s have come here but this space should have come at this t location but why this t is coming there is no t here this is space right a space should have come like it came to mem move case so this is mem move output right but in mem copy it is like this undesired output let's discuss this undesired output little better so you have this mem move function we have this two location this is like from location and these are like number of bytes so this is the output this is your input string this is your output string so this n is coming here because this is the second position in this string okay so n have come here u have come here t have come here s have come here but then what about this space this space should have come here right why this t is coming actually this is the t which is coming here why i'll show you that so this is 0 1 2 3 4 and space is at fourth location and we have 0 1 2 3 and this t is at fourth location now look at this we wanted to copy this space which is at fourth location right but if you see this t is also at fourth location so basically we ended up modifying the same string that's why when it is trying to copy it is copying the updated string because we are actually modifying the same string that's what the overlap is so then it is undefined behavior it's not defined that's why mem copy can sometime go wrong if your source and destination are overlapping to overcome that we have mem move function which will always perform better why because it does not start copying like this it takes this and copy it to some another location like we wanted to copy n u t s with some space right and then now it will keep on changing this location and then this and then this and then this okay then there won't be any problem because after this this space will come here why because we are not modifying this string and this string is not this string correct so just remember this if your source 
and destination both can overlap then don't go for memory copy go for mem move this is really very important so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos